Good morning, Whitmer Wildcats. It is time for a daily announcements. We are from Mr. Johnson's seventh grade homeroom. It's Monday, so it's Tuesday. So let's stand for the pledge. Right hand over your heart facing the American flag. I pledge allegiance for, to the flag in the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible for liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Today is Tuesday, January 17th. Skyler, what are we having for lunch today? We're having a burrito bowl ta with taco meat, tortilla chips, cinnamon churro crackers, or mini cheese quesadillas, and refried beans with cheese. Josie Sierra to the office with your belongings. Josie Sierra to the office with your belongings. Um, a salsa cup, fresh whole apple with a choice of milk. And tomorrow we're having roasted mesquite, um, chicken drumstick, or ve vegetarian chicken nuggets. And... Herb and Parmesan roasted potatoes, baby carrots, strawberry cup, birthday cake, graham crackers, and a choice of milk. Um, Elek, what can we expect for the weather today and tomorrow? Today we can expect a low of 33 degrees and a high of 42 degrees. Tomorrow has a low of 33 and a high of 39. It's going to be pretty cold. So, um, We don't have a birthday today. so. And now some announcements from our principal, Ms. Cummins. Good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your nice long weekend. I know I appreciated the extra day of sleep before coming back this week. So we do have a short week, only four days, and we're doing our star math test this week. I was looking at our star reading scores over the weekend, and they weren't too bad. Saw a lot of people whose scores went up, a lot of people who changed uh color groups, but I'm more concerned about whether your scores went up or not. Because if your scores are going up, that means you're taking advantage of your learning, you're doing what you need to do in your classroom, and you are handling your business. So again, we have star math this week. I want to see the same things uh, on this week's reports. Also, over the weekend, I spent time looking over your progress reports because those will be going home. Those let us know we are halfway through the marking period. That means in February, grades close. So if you do not like what your progress reports say, you need to make sure that you are getting your work done and getting your stuff completed so you can get your grades up before the final report card comes out. Seventh graders, you know how important this is for you guys because you'll be applying for high school with these seventh grade report cards. Um, our mindset for the month of January is most improved because we know everybody sets their goals, they wanna do better in the new year. So we are looking for students who are taking their academics seriously. Maybe they're not the best students, but they're trying really hard and they have really improved their behavior, their grades, their attitude, whatever it is, they've done better, they're most improved. So let's keep working hard on that. We've got just a few more weeks left of January before we pick those people. Also, don't forget, we're doing the attendance award for January for those students who come to school 95% of the time. So make sure that you keep coming to school every single day. It's important, guys. And I still have that out there for the hat and hoodie day. I don't know if we'll ever get to 95%. I think the closest we've gotten is 90. So let's keep trying hard to make sure that we get that. Maybe if we get 90 two days in a row, I'll let us do it. Um, but let's have a great week this week. I think that's about all I have. So if you guys want to wrap it up for us. Tune in tomorrow and every day for more Wildcat news. Have a great day with Wildcats. We'll see you around the building. We're the Whitman Wildcats. Seek respect, not attention.